welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna make some awesome geometric pillow covers. This method for making pillow covers is something that I do a lot. Um, every time I change up my decor a little bit, pillows always make a huge difference and a lot of the time you don't wanna go out and spend like $60 on a pillow. So I'm gonna show you a really fast, affordable, and easy way to make your own pillow covers with an envelope style enclosure. This is super, super simple. So even if you don't have sewing experience, you can still do this. You don't need a sewing machine. You can even just use a needle and a thread if you want to. Um, but with a sewing machine, this project only takes about 10 minutes. Um, I actually did this in about 10 minutes and I made two pillows. So you guys follow along and I'm sure that you can find a use for some new pillows in your life. So let's get to it. To get started, you're gonna need a few things. A pair of scissors, a ruler or a measuring tape, three types of fabric. You want a backing fabric, and then two fabrics for the geometric triangle design. We're gonna start by first measuring our pillow form. My pillow measures 16 inches on both sides, so you're gonna take the measurement of your pillow and you're gonna add one inch. So we're gonna do 17 inches square. Now you're just gonna take your ruler and you're gonna cut out your square. You're gonna wanna do this for both of the top fabrics that are gonna make the triangle. So you're gonna do this twice. For the back piece, you're gonna wanna take your measurement and add two inches to one of the sides. So you'll have one side longer than the other. Then you wanna fold your backing fabric on the long side and you're gonna cut along the seam. All we're doing here is cutting that backing piece in half. Set that aside for a minute while we work on our triangles. And with both of our top fabrics, we're gonna take our squares and we're gonna fold them in half. And then we're also gonna cut along the seam as shown. Make sure you do this for both of the top fabrics. Folding corner to corner, making sure that it's even along both sides and then cutting along the seam once again. Cutting your squares in half means that you have enough pieces for two pillows. Now we're just gonna take our two triangle pieces and we're gonna lay them face to face. You wanna make sure that the edges are all lined up nicely. And then you're gonna sew along the long edge. So you're sewing the two pieces together. Keep the foot of your sewing machine along the edge of the fabric to make a nice straight line. When you open it up, this is what it should look like on the good side. Now we're gonna work on the backing again. So we're gonna take our two cut backing pieces and on the long edge, you're gonna fold it over half an inch. You can press your fabric if you like. I'm just lazy and I like to leave it wrinkly. Now we're just gonna sew that edge down in a straight line. Just keep the foot of your sewing machine against the edge. So you have a nice smooth seam. Do that for both pieces so you have matching pieces. Now, taking our front piece, we're gonna lay it out on a table. And then we're gonna take one of the backing pieces and you're gonna lay that on top of the top piece, face down. So you should feel the edge of the seam we just folded over. That should be facing towards you. So line that up along the bottom and along the edges. Then you're gonna take your other piece do the exact same thing and it's going to overlap slightly onto the other backing piece. Once again, this is face down. And then you're going to want to pin all the way around just to make sure it doesn't move as you sew it. And then all you're going to do is sew 
all the way around the entire edge of the pillow. I like to round my corners so when I get to a corner I'll just round it as you just saw. And then I chop the corners off. This just helps make the corners less pointy. Once you're done, all you're going to do is flip your pillow cover inside out or right side in. And you can see here that I'm pushing out the corners just to make sure that they're nice and smooth. And this is our envelope enclosure. Now all you're going to do is grab your pillow and stuff it inside. Make sure that the corners are pushed all the way to the corners of your pillow cover. And then close it up. Yay! You have a brand new pillow cover that can match your decor and you can do any design that you like. You don't even have to do triangles, but this method works so well for so many different applications. So here we go, and this is what it looks like in the room. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, add it to your favorites, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. And we... Hello. And we are going to show you how we make him so, so beautiful. We're going to go through his whole grooming routine so that maybe you guys can groom your own dogs at home if you want to.